Hello, my name is Daniel Gopar, and this is the third video in the Ellipse tutorial series. And in this video, we're gonna go over um, uh, how to loop through an uh, through a list, and uh, about local variables. That way, you don't clutter up your namespace with a bunch of useless variables. All right. So first, let's define. Oh well, before we get going, um, notice that I'm no longer using the the emask the Ellipse REPL. I'm just using a simple scratch buffer that's set to Emacs list mode. So you can do that as well uh, to make life easier. That way you don't have to worry about indentation when you're entering multiple lines within the REPL. All right, cool, so let's go. So let's just uh, define a list. So again, we're just gonna call it my list and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, like that. And to evaluate it, we do control X, control E at the very end of the line. So go to the very end of the line, control X, control E. And if you do everything right, you should see it echo right here in the in the bottom of the mini buffer the value that you just evaluated so that's cool alright so for an exercise on looping through variables let's do loop loop through list and print even numbers so we're gonna print even numbers alright cool so the way we are gonna loop through um, through a list is through this function called do list so we're gonna do that and what it takes is a, another set of parentheses and we're gonna put element in my list and this is saying okay for we're gonna loop through this list called my list and every element in there we're just gonna call it element or let's just call it um, uh, element L like that whatever we can uh, let's just call it pizza whatever so that way you guys know that that's what each element is called inside the list when we're looping through it. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do when this is a type of if statement. So we're gonna do equals, and then we're gonna do mod pizza to zero. We are going to print pizza. Yay for pizza. All right, cool. So we're saying okay when pizza is modulated by is mod 2 it should give us um, uh, what the remainder right so if it's even it the remainder will always be 0 and if it's not it will be 1 so we're saying whatever the remainder of this if it's equal to 0 we print pizza but we only do that when it's equal to 0 so hopefully that makes sense and now moment of truth we're gonna go all the way to the end of the do list expression and we're going to press control x control e and evaluate it ta -da, look at that two four right there and that is right because we only have two and four inside of the uh lisp list i'm sorry inside of the list so that's pretty cool now we can also do message but message only takes in a pizza and the difference between print and, and message is that message only displays one at a time instead of how you saw print where it displayed two and four and had a big old uh, gap right here uh, expanding the mini buffer if we do this it will only be one line so but in order to do that it needs a string so luckily there's something called uh, number two string there we go and if we do that it should only print out one number at a time but since it's looping it's gonna be super fast and the last thing it's nail that prints because now I believe it's the end of the list that's how Emacs knows I believe hmm I should have checked that before I made the video oh well people will correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> alright so let's see um, so that's one way of doing it. So I'm just gonna leave it as before, print pizza. Let's just evaluate it, two, four. Yep, there we go. All right, so uh, that's how we loop through a list. All right, cool. So now let's create, um, now let's use the let expression to create local variables. So parentheses again, and then use the keyword let. Now let um, accept some stuff. For example, we can have parentheses right here and we can just create a local variable so some bar right there and we can just leave it like that and we can go to the next line and we can say when no some bar we can do uh, message bar is no 
And since it is null, it should print out that message in the mini buffer. But um, look at that, it printed it out in the mini buffer. That's pretty awesome, right? So now, if we want to use some bar outside of the let expression, it's we can't because some bar doesn't exist. And if I try to evaluate it, Emacs will give me an error. You see, void variable some bar that only exists within this expression, which is pretty cool when you have to create a uh, uh, temporary variables. All right, cool. So let's do something else. Um, oh, so when you do this, oops. So when you do this, some bar is automatically given the value of nil because you haven't defined anything. So Emacs says, okay, we'll just give it a value of nil, of an empty list. Nil and empty list is the same. So whatever. All right, cool. So let's make a let expression with the value already defined. So let's do this let and then some bar zero zero. So if you're gonna give um, a, a value to a variable already, you have to put parentheses and then a other bar like 90 or whatever. So it's uh, it accepts parentheses and then inside the parentheses you're gonna set the values of the other variables that you want that's pretty much it it's pretty easy straightforward so right here we're gonna say we're gonna use an actual if statement so when is one way of doing things when you only check want to check for something and then if is uh, if you want to have like an if and else kind of thing so I'll show you right now if no sum bar then we're gonna do message not supposed to happen because it's set to zero and not nil. Else we're gonna do message yay because we're happy people. All right, so automatically the first line is what happens if it's true, and then the second line right here happens if it's false within the if statement. So let's go again to the very end of the let clause and let's evaluate it. Control X, Control E. And as you see, it's yay. The value is yay. All right, sweet. Pretty easy. Now, the one thing I want to tell you about the if statement is that if you want to have more than one thing to happen when the statement is true, um, you're going to have to use something called a prog, this keyword right here, and wrap everything around it. Because um, if uh, the way uh, Emacs does it right now, only, oops, this the only you can have one line in the true statement and then when it's true and then a bunch of other ones when it's false message no so if I do this then no should appear nope so you see all of these can be as the else statement but that will be for another lesson as an example of how to do it all right cool now Let's put everything that we just learned and create a function that sums the evens in the list. And then we're going to test that function. So we're going to do defund sum evens, sum evens. And then we're just going to take out um, sum list. And then instead of here, we're going to use the let expression because we want to use temporary variables. And we're going to set the sum to zero for now because that's pretty much how we start. <laughs> Of course, um, we're going to assume that the list that we pass is uh, positive integers because, I mean, you can't have even negatives, right? And they could potentially add up to zero. So, yeah, but for this, we're just going to assume that everything is positive. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we're going to use a do list, and then we're just going to name everything element, each variable that we loop through, and then we're going to use some list. Oops do this so sum that looks right do this some list okay and then we're going to say when the same thing again mod element divided by 2 is equal to 0 module 2 to equal to 0 we want to do this we want to do set q sum um, oops sum plus element so yeah, I think that's right. Mm, is that right? Ah, 
and remember the last thing you evaluated is what it the function returns so oops we gotta have right there inside the let clause so some there we go so the last thing you evaluated in the let is the sum variable sum so when let finishes it's gonna return the sum variable and the last thing that um, the function evaluates is its let clause so since the let clause returns sum uh, sum evens it's gonna return that variable as well well the value of that variable and let's go ahead and evaluate it control X control E alright sweet and let's go down here and call that function sum evens and we're gonna pass in my list to it and it should return six right ta-da it returns six in the mini buffer pretty sweet right so as always we're gonna create the little test ERT evaluate that control X control E alright sweet now we're gonna do ERT def test um, sum evens test and test some parameters but it doesn't take any and we're gonna do should oops should equal let's see sum evens and we're gonna pass in one two uh, let's just pass in a bunch of odds three five sum evens so yeah so when sum evens it runs with the list of bunch of odds it should return zero so that should be fine and also let's see instead of all evens I mean all odds let's do all evens so this should return 12 so should equal yes so let's go and evaluate this function control x control e bottom and let's uh, do again meta x e r t and then press tab and then we should run it bottom all tests pass how awesome is that pretty simple right all right, well, that's it. Bye.